what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be a little bit different away from the bike uh it's actually going to be about focused back on chloe back on the truck um as you guys have probably seen in the past i have tinted windows on the truck now if you guys are deciding that you want uh, debating whether you want to go tint your windows or not tint them let me see if I can help you make your decision. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this thing before in previous videos showing the uh, temperature differential or the different temperatures uh, between your colder intakes and your standard intakes, plastic to metal. Well, let me show you what happens when you have a tinted window versus a non-tinted window. Check this out. All right, it's off as you guys can see. All right, <clears throat> so now we're gonna start with up front, all right? It's going to have a little laser, as you can see, and then it, it gives you a reading. Right here it says uh, 118, 119 degrees. I'm going to hold it, as you can see, 118 degrees. All right, my dashboard. Hit the button. I oh, can't see, but all right, and then hold. My dashboard is 165 degrees. Uh, that is untinted. My cloth seat, you can see the little laser laser goes into the sunlight all right let it let it pick up and then let it go my seat shows to be 138 degrees let me try that one more time just to make sure 139 140 yeah <clears throat> my my seat in the sunlight is 140 degrees now check this out this is back here in the shade Okay, this is ultimate shade. There's no sunlight inside the truck. And hold, 112 degrees back here. And then where the sunlight is actually hitting, the seat. Press and hold. You can see the laser over there. Press and hold and release. 114 degrees. So this was 140, that's 114. <clears throat> so that is the difference between having tinted windows on your vehicle versus having no tinted windows on your vehicle now the windows in the back of my truck are limo dark they're limo tint so that right there should tell you how well limo tint works and we're gonna turn on the system up here and how what's the temperature outside it says 97 96 degrees ballpark as you can see, it bounces back and forth, but yeah, it's right on the verge. So, I mean, in my truck, yeah, my truck's black, but it's awesome. It's sitting in the sunlight, you know, all, all morning. And here it is, it's noon. It's not even the mid heat of the day. So, <clears throat> as you can see, 96 degrees at noon. And our hottest part of the day is between 2.30 and 3 o'clock. So at 12.30, in 30 minutes, I have an appointment uh, up there at uh, the window window tinting place. I don't I don't know the name of them. I just looked them up online, and uh, I got an appointment up there to go get my front windows tinted, and then I'm gonna get a um, a strip of tint across the front of the windshield so that it'll help keep the inside of my truck cool in these hot temperatures. Because <clears throat> I'm tired of you know opening up my door. And my truck's basically a furnace. You just, or an oven, you open it up and just, whoa, all that heat just hits you right in the face. So, anyway, uh, this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, them doing their, their tent work and then the results after. All right, so what he's doing is he's he's taking the, the tent and puts it on the outside of the glass to size it up. Cutting exactly how it needs to be. And then when he's done, then he takes it and puts it on the inside of the glass. I didn't know that. Now you do. Who knew? It's really cool. Now we go on the inside.
So how long have you been doing this? About 22 years. About 22 years? Since 2000. Well, be a stupid question to ask if you like your job. <laughs> and then later on, uh, what I'm going to end up doing is uh, the actual windshield itself. See, right now, today, I'm going to get what they call an eyebrow. It's an eyebrow, right? Eyebrow. Yeah. You get an eyebrow. It's going to it's going to cover a good portion of the top of the, the glass, but it's not going to cover the rest of it. So later on, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to come back and I'm going to get the whole windshield tinted. Not recommended by some folks, but I have a black truck, ladies and gentlemen. This thing gets hot inside. It just like, it just holds the heat. So. <sighs> But yeah, definitely later on, I'm going to get the, the whole windshield. It's, it's always been my objective. Now you see how he's doing this leading edge right here? A lot of times, whenever you're detailing a car, it's very important to get this leading edge because inside here uh, is the actual window seal. It's like a, a rubber velvet type thing. It actually flakes off or melts to the glass and it creates a line all along the leading edge. So if you're ever getting uh, your vehicle detailed <clears throat> and you just crack your windows and you see that they left a line there, they didn't do a good job. Oh, is that adhesive backing? Is that adhesive backing to it? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, when you peel that clear, it's the uh, ah. Very gnarly. But these windows are easy to do. I had my S10 uh, and I had my windows tinted. They said I can't roll the windows down for like 12 hours or something like that. Yeah. Okay. It's still fresh. Yeah. It might peel at the bottom. Right. Don't want that. All right. So with me being, with having said that, if you have a vehicle that's got other windows, get those done first, and then do the fronts. So if you need air on the vehicle and you got to roll down the windows. You can roll down the back one so you don't have to roll down the front so you don't screw anything up. Food for thought. There we go. So, clean the glass first entirely. Clean the surface so that he can size up the, the eyebrow. And then you can do his cutting stuff on the inside or the outside, and then you can just put it up on the inside. This ought to be interesting. bro what do you think i know it's my truck but uh yeah let's do that let's do that five percent eyebrow now let me know if i'm in the way i'll get out of the way effort with a single finger <laughs> yeah this is gonna be really nice it's gonna cut down a lot of the sunlight coming in here not near as much as the entire windshield but it's a help okay now we can take this out yeah let me go ahead and yank this stuff out of here 
All right, this is dash cam, ladies and gents. I gotta pull it out, unfortunately. Oh, that one's already screwed into there, so. Pull all this off. All right. Try to keep the water away from the electronics. on there wow that's some really good glue what is it like <laughs> double set yeah this crap right here sweet a little bit of glue didn't hurt nobody leave this in here until the battery dies Uh, that dash can comes in handy, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's going to be uh, a wrap for this part of the video. Uh, I'm not going to have much more to do with this one. Uh, we just finished up doing all the windows. It is official. It is nice and dark in here now, which I like. I can already notice uh, a difference in the AC unit. It's actually blowing a little bit cooler. It's because it's not fighting uh, as much heat load that's in here. That is good. I like that. In a black truck with cold AC, always welcome. Uh, but before I conclude this video, I'm going to get my, uh, my laser thermometer and I'm going to show you guys the difference. Uh, you know, now the afters, how everything is nice and cool in here. And I'll show you guys definitely uh, the difference between having no tint and actually having some tint. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we're back, I let the truck sit in the sun for a little bit longer for about another two hours. And let's do another test. Now, here again is my my laser thermometer as you guys can see I'm gonna do you see the laser on the car on the seat and the temperature reads 95 degrees what was it earlier 140 now it's only 95 and then back here let's do a reading 94 degrees dashboard all right freeze this is 104 so that's that's a major major difference with the tint in a vehicle and it's just it's awfully nice it really is uh, maybe just a little warm still but it's a lot better than it was so if you guys ever question whether you should go and get your windows tinted Go do it. You'll thank yourself for doing it. Um, but definitely, this is the the after. I wanted to show you guys, uh, especially on here. This is you know the most accurate way I'm able to actually take temperature readings. Um, another thing that I received uh, from my girlfriend in the mail for Father's Day is this thing called a umbrella shield. I think or. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's umbrella shield. Look at this, guys. <laughs> this thing is cool. Uh, down here. It's, it's basically an umbrella inverted. And you take this, and this is for your windshield. You pop it up here. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. You take this, you lay this up here. Watch this. <laughs> you lay it up there extend like you would an umbrella fix it in place and then just drop down your visor and you're good to go look at that <laughs> and uh, let me show you what it looks like on the outside Hang on. <sighs> but yeah I see the tent on the outside I go to close the door 
and you you can't see inside the truck. Uh, I also got the the brow, the visor brow across the front. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. You can probably see it there. But that shield is fantastic. If you guys don't have one, get one. So anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around for another episode of SV Cruiser. If you guys happen to like the content, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, y'all take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye.